Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today we are going to be finding out if iOS 11 is still usable in 2022. So let's get started. Now iOS 11 was a bit unique. It came out in 2017 along with the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. It was the first version to uh, feature this new control center, completely new look. It also changed up the uh, app icons on the App Store and the iTunes Store. Um, but what was also really unique about it was that no iPhone uh, ended on iOS 11. And what I mean by that is that, you know, most iPhones, when they go out of date, they end on like iOS 12, the iPhone 6 ended on iOS 12, the iPhone 5 ended on iOS 10. Well, there's no iPhone that ends support on iOS 11, so there's no way to get iOS 11 back once you update it. You just have to find a phone that has iOS 11 installed and never update it. So that's actually very unique about iOS 11. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video and see what's still usable on iOS 11, uh, what's still compatible, and if you should use it in 2022 if you get the chance. So let's go ahead and do an app compatibility test and just go ahead and uh, download some basic apps here. Well, it seems that I can't even download Instagram because it's not compatible with iOS 11. I'll have to go into my purchase history to download an older version. Let's go ahead and download uh, YouTube as well. Same deal with YouTube. So apparently you cannot download YouTube or Instagram without going into your purchase history and downloading an older version. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so let's find Instagram here in my purchase history. And okay, so it will let me download an older version uh, because it says it requires iOS 12 or later. So let's go ahead and find YouTube as well. It says requires iOS 12 or later, but if I come and hit the button here, possibly it'll let me, because Instagram just gave me the same error. That's so weird. Huh. Well, I guess it will not allow me to download um, either Instagram or YouTube. It's saying that Instagram has failed to install, so that's weird, because I actually just installed it on an iOS 10 iPhone SE. I'm not sure at all why it's giving me this error because usually you should be able to download the older version of the app. Um, so that's strange. Anyways, then let's go ahead and uh, test Minecraft once it loads and after that we'll go ahead and do a Safari compatibility test. Okay, so we've loaded up Minecraft, and uh, unlike the iOS 10 iPhone SE, it actually loaded. For whatever reason, it kept getting hung on, uh, like, loading resources or something like that, and it just wouldn't go past it. And I tried and tried and tried, and I just could not get it to load. But at least it seems it's loading here on iOS 11. Okay, so it seems like it's loaded, and it's actually playing it pretty smooth as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it seems like uh, iOS 11 is compatible with Minecraft, and uh, maybe it'll run well with other games that will actually download the latest version. Like, I believe uh, Clash Royale is one of those. Um, that game should work just fine, because I tried it on iOS 10, and it, uh, it worked perfectly fine. Yeah, so Clash Royale will actually download the latest version as well. So anyways, um, now that we've figured out that YouTube and Instagram will not download, even if you try to download a later version, let's go ahead and test out Safari and some of the other stock applications. Okay, so it seems like Safari is loading well. It took a second, but uh, all the images have loaded and it's not really laggy. Let's just go to a different page. Uh, it, does, it does lag a little bit there.
Okay, so it seems like uh, Apple.com works good. Let's go ahead and uh, try YouTube since we can't get the YouTube app. Still a little bit laggy, but it's uh, it's working. Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today we're going to be unboxing the iPhone. So it seems SD like uh, Safari on iOS 11 so still does it. pretty well for the most part. I haven't actually seen any major flaws yet. So, um, so yeah, I would say that iOS 11's uh, Safari works just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out iMessage. So this is a bit of a weird situation. They're actually both on the same account because I couldn't get it to connect to my phone number, which I usually do through mm -hmm. iCloud. It's, uh, it's a bit strange, but uh, we can see here that at least even though they're texting themselves, technically iMessage does work on iOS 11 here. Okay, so now we're just going to see if FaceTime works on iOS 11. So uh, let's just go ahead and call and see if it works. To be honest, I'm quite surprised that this works since they're both on the same iCloud account. You can see here, FaceTime works perfectly fine on iOS 11. So overall, would I recommend using iOS 11 in 2022? Well, probably not, simply because app compatibility is terrible. And just without app compatibility, what are you going to do on your phone? I mean, you can use the basic applications, and Safari works fine, which is a bonus, but you can't really use your phone well if you can't get great app support. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like, as well as subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that bell icon so you're notified as soon as new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Catch you in the next video. Peace.